Welcome back to the Global Local Top Tips and today, banoffee pie. One of my all time favorites to make. So, so simple, you'll be kicking yourself. You didn't know this sooner. Let's get stuck in. Now to get started here with a banoffee pie, we need to make a beautiful caramel. And we wanna make this as simple as we can. So we're gonna make it from condensed milk. So I've got one tin of condensed milk here, it's 395 grams. And that goes straight into a pot. I'm just on a low, low heat. To be careful with this one because there's so much sugar in it, it will burn really, really quickly. I've got 50 grams of brown sugar, and it's important that it's brown sugar and not white sugar. It just caramelizes better. And I've got 70 grams of salted butter. So just on a low heat with a wooden spoon, keep a stir in it for about six to eight minutes. While we're waiting for our caramel, let's get our base done. Now there's so many different things you can put into this base. I like to use scones, so scones that are, that are a day old. I blend them up and I add some butter into the base and it gives a beautiful crunchy soft texture to it. You can use a roasted muesli, you could use ground biscuits, it's completely up to you. It depends on just what you have or what you prefer. So today I'm going to use a mix of crushed scones or scones and a little bit of roasted muesli just to give that bit of texture through it. I've got 100 grams of melted butter and I've got 250 grams of scone mix. I just simply add the butter in and you just want to bring it together. So you'd want to add enough butter that it's going to stick and, and not be too crumbly and there's nothing worse when you're trying to portion a banoffee pie or a cheesecake or something with a biscuit base and it just crumbles apart. On the other hand, you don't want too much butter in there that you can't get a dessert fork through it either. So better to add a little bit at a time, just to be sure. Beautiful. I've got a cake tin here. I've just put, sprayed it with a little bit of spray oil and some greaseproof paper. And the greaseproof paper just makes it so much easier to get it out when it's set. Pushing it through to the corners and then just pressing it down. This is such a quick, simple dessert. It can be done way beforehand. It keeps really, really well in the fridge. And it looks so good when it's finished. Now, straight into the fridge for 20 minutes. Now our caramel is bubbling away and it's just, it's just about bubbling. You don't wanna bring it to the boil, you wanna keep it on a really low simmer and you definitely, definitely want to keep a stir in it. After about six to eight minutes, it'll come into a beautiful toffee. And at this stage, take it off the heat and let it cool down. So my base is out of the fridge, it's nice and cool, and my caramel is now cool too. So now we're just going to pour it straight on top. We're just gonna push it out and around. Now you can make individual ones of these, of course. If you want to have really good portion control. Perfect. Back in the fridge for 20 minutes. So our banoffee pie is ready to assemble. Our base is out of the fridge and it's set perfectly. And the trick with this is you basically only finish it off when you're about to serve it. If you put banana and cream on it now and then put it back in the fridge for a couple of hours, the banana goes brown and squishy and it's not very, very nice. So I like to prepare it beforehand and then finish it off just when I'm about to serve it. So I've got my base here and 
I've just got some nice soft bananas, not overly ripe, there's no brown spots in it, and I just want to fan them out just over it. And just depending on how much you want to put in there. But it's nice to put on quite a bit because it gives you quite a bit of height. And I've just got some some cream here which I've just whipped up and I haven't put anything in it. I haven't put any sugar, icing sugar or vanilla in it because this dessert is quite sweet with all that toffee in it anyway. And then just to finish it off with just a little bit of chocolate powder on the top. There you have it. My best recipe for banoffee pie. If you enjoy our videos and you'd like to support us in the future, please consider joining our Patreon group. There's some awesome extras, Q&A sessions, our upcoming cookbooks and some unseen videos. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment down below any videos you'd like to see in the future. Hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon. And we'll see you soon.